Okay, everybody. Oh, wait, am I actually live? Yes, I am live. Hi, everybody. My name's Annie, and I'm playing a new game called Farm Folks. It's actually pre-alpha right now. Uh, I wonder if I can pause it. I don't, I don't know. I can look around with my mouse. Looks like I can move around with the WASD keys. Let's see if that's any different. Yep, I can move around with the WASD keys. Um, I'm trying to, right now, just get my bearings as to what I can and cannot do. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the pause key. See if that does anything. Hit the escape. That brings up this. So escape is the way to pause currently. And it looks like I can use the arrow keys. Player? Player information is pretty sparse right now. <laughs> it just says player information. This is pre-alpha. Uh, it's It even says pre-alpha down here in the corner. And um, females are going to be in the game, the developer has said, but they're not, we're not here yet. Um, let's see what I've got. Inventory. The mouse does seem to work a little bit. Let me see if my controller works a little. Nope, I don't seem to be getting anything with the controller. Well, something happened with the controller. Okay. The mouse works. Chop down trees, watering can. Guess what that does? Uh, this looks like a... Oh, I wish my, my mouse was operating. Hoe, used to till the ground. Sickle. I play so much Stardew Valley, I know I'm going to be calling that a scythe. I apologize in advance for that. I'm going to be doing that a lot. And this is probably a pickaxe. Used to break about stones. So, right, that's uh, that's pretty standard. Nothing there that's really alarming me, except when my camera is freaking out a little bit. And not, it's, it's like either doing extreme focus. Uh, close focus to my big fat face or it's uh, like just cutting off my head <laughs> just being weird okay crafting uh, a fence I imagine I need wood for that controls use the number key to cycle through items yep that works right click to interact with things like the shop and doors left click to use items to uh, place items, to use items, tools, and place fences. Okay. Settings, music. Let's let's turn on the music. Okay. Um, while it's paused, I'm going to. I, I actually asked for the W. I mean, even before I started playing, I'm left-handed, and it really is difficult for me to use WASD when I'm using the mouse because I use the mouse in my left hand. Uh, and I already, before I even started playing, I said, can we use the arrow keys? So I'm going to go in, I'm kind of doing a stream of consciousness um, thing where I'm, I'm, not stream of consciousness, but, you know, talking while I'm streaming and posting on their Discord page. So I'm going to go ahead and write in that the arrow keys actually do work because I didn't mention that. Okay, I just typed that in. Let me take a nice drink of my refreshing. I see my look, it's just cutting off the top of my head. Ah, my camera. Let me move my controller way over here because I'm gonna I know I'm gonna wanna use that thing. Okay, so I'm gonna exit. No. No no, I wanna exit here. I don't wanna exit the game. So I can go here and uh right click uh, left click does that so I guess I can't really interact with that yet let's see I turn by moving the mouse around let's see if I can do anything with that nope 
the turning thing. Uh, I, I've played like Skyrim and stuff where you did this. But uh, it, it, it doesn't feel that natural to me. I'll have to get used to it. Let's see. I thought that E up there meant maybe I was standing east. But I guess it doesn't. Okay, let's see if I can interact with the door. Left, right click, work. All right, good. Ooh, this is very nice looking. Here's what my house looks like. I wonder if I should shut the door. I like the graph, the graphics here. This is nice. Okay, let's see you go up here. What do we got up here? This looks like a field. So, uh, scythe or sickle. I just gained a couple of of well, what did I gain? Uh, inventory. I just gained a couple of fibers, just like in Stardew. So I'm going to clean up all this stuff. I assume that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. I'm not used to being in a 3D world. It's something I'm sure I can get used to. And I really like how this world works. Whoops, I am stuck. Uh, my character, I believe, is a male. And I have no way to to change that right now. You can also um, go through the keys by using the mouse wheel. That's what I'm doing right now and it works just fine. I like that feature. So I think that's my axe. It is. I can see I'm gaining wood when I'm doing that. I'm going to turn off the sound altogether because I want to uh, I want to listen to the effect. Okay. I whoops, nope. I didn't want to exit. I'm not really hearing any sound from chopping wood. I was wondering if that was just me or Let me see. Did I have the do I have all my sound turned off? Settings. Sound effects is at 100, so I should be hearing it if there are sounds. So. I have no idea to tell if I'm losing energy or something. And I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um. I'm collecting rocks. Well, I would be if I got closer to them when I was mining them. And no message that I'm using the wrong thing there. I do like how they light up when you're targeting them or close enough to be affected by them. All right. We go back to my sickle. And, uh, let's clear that area out. The, the game never even really asked me for a name for my farmer. So I've got this whole area cleared out. Ah. I'm gonna, there was a chest in my house. Oh, here's a, here's this. Uh, my watering can has already got a hundred charges in it. That seems very generous. I wonder if I can put things in my chest that I saw in here. So I'm going to right click on it. Maybe space bar. We're going to escape. Maybe there's a control. 
Use the number keys to cycle through items. Okay, you can do that. You can also use a mouse wheel. Right click to interfere with things like shop and door. Okay, right click. This does not seem to work yet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to pause it for a second and I'm going to talk a little bit on Discord about what I'm seeing so far. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, if I get used to this third world moving, uh, I would so like to have controller support for this game. Okay, there's that. There's that. Uh, there's a sign over here. What does it say? Gilbert's Goods. Well, Okay, Gilbert. My grandfather's name was Gilbert. <laughs> Doesn't look like my grandfather, though. Oh, okay, I can buy stuff from him. I can buy carrot seeds, fodder as a component, cauliflower seeds, radish seeds, and wheat seeds. I wonder if I can sell to him. They cost 45 each. I have 500. Okay, instead of, I, I don't think I'm going to buy anything from Gilbert right now. I'm going to uh, do a little exploring first. This is a, a woman who has no name. I'll just swing my axe at her. Oh, I can buy a cow or a chicken from her. And Gilbert right next to her is selling uh, seeds. This looks like it's more my property, another farming area. I'm not going to bother clearing this out right now. But I'm going to run around and see if there's anything back here. I'm really liking the graphics for this game. It's really pretty. Uh, this I'm guessing is a is a oh it's a, it's smart enough that when I open the door in my face it actually pushed me back. I can't see my own face ever. <laughs> I hope I'm not that but ugly. These I guess are where my chickens live. This would be my coop. I wonder if there's a place to feed them in here. Nope, I don't see anything. Okay, and this one I'm going to guess here is where my cows go when I get that far. So let's see if I can open up the doors without, uh, maybe this is feeding. Maybe I put the feed in there. Maybe this isn't where they nest. Maybe that's where I feed them. I don't know. I want to take a look at this water because I'm really like digging this world. Do, do I get stopped by log logs? Yes, I do get stopped by logs. But I do not get stopped by grass, so so far that's fairly realistic. What does water do? Can I go for a swim? I can go for a swim. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I actually saw my face. I get stopped by the water so I can swing around. Oh, I look kind of mad and I have really bushy eyebrows. Oh. Okay, well, no, here. Uh go back towards the shore all right so I got an ocean I don't have footsteps or anything because I turned off the sound I'm playing in absolute silence a little weird 
Um, maybe sound, the soundtrack, the music is the only sound in the game. I kind of clipped through those rocks there. Can I see if I can, I'm trying to see if I can see, yeah, a little bit. I can see through them a little bit. What happens, can I jump off the cliff? Yeah, I can. So that's nice. This has actually kind of got a 3D feel to it where I can. I wonder if I can jump by, you know, hitting the space bo uh, key. On many games, it makes you jump. It doesn't on this one. Okay. So. So let's see. Here's Gilbert and Miss No Name. Let's see what's down here. More ocean. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't look like this is a very big island. It looks like those two merchants might be it as far as the town goes. This is pre-alpha, so I'm not really expecting a lot in this game. Um, I, I knew it was pre-alpha when I got it. It's a very pretty game. Don't look into the sun. That's why I look straight up. It's getting darker, and that's being reflected by the uh, the sky is getting darker. I'm just seeing how big the island is. Normally, when I play, I wouldn't recommend probably doing this. I am really, really, really missing my controller support right now. I hope I don't, I hope I can end up back where I started and I don't have to go all the way around. The ocean's a very pretty color. I wonder what that E up in there was. I thought it was for East when I first started playing, but I don't think it is. There's my farm. What's this? Is this anything? Well, you can walk through it. It's a door, but it doesn't do anything yet. Yeah. So, right-clicking and yeah, hitting with the X probably wouldn't do anything either. Okay. So, there's no time, really, uh, besides apparently day and night. I wonder if Gilbert's there all night long. Okay, there's that. So it looks like I got a fair amount of space. Oh, let's see. Is this something I can go into? This looks like it's probably a, a silo. I, I think I just picked up some fodder. Yeah, I didn't really want to, but I did. So that's that's where you get fodder. Can I climb up this? You know, every time I click on it, wherever I'm standing, I get fodder. So that does that. Ooh, it just turned nighttime. Night falls quickly. <laughs> it just went from no stars to suddenly all the stars. I'm looking for the moon. I don't see it. Okay. I just saw Gilbert a second ago. There he is. Gilbert. I know it's late at night. But you will buy my stuff. I wonder if I can sell stuff to him. I can. I can sell stuff to him. I'm going to buy a couple of carrots, a couple of cauliflower, a um, couple of radishes, and a couple of wheats. So I got two of everything right now. Energy, 100 out of 100. Oh, I see. B E stands for energy. Okay, that makes sense. That's an energy bar, not uh, a directional bar. Okay. That, that makes sense, in fact. 
Um, here's the area I cleaned up. It's late at night. I don't know if there's going to be a penalty for working at night. Okay, so I got fodder because I, um, I uh, cut grass. So this is my hoe. Or my, uh, yeah, that's a hoe. I said it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm using the mouse wheel. I'm going to put one there and one there. And um, escape inventory. I'm not sure how to reposition things in the inventory. Up oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I just drag and drop pretty standard stuff. My cauliflowers, I guess, I'll put next. And my radishes. And finally, my wheat. Okay, have I lost any energy? See, I can't. I'm not even sure how I got the energy bar up there before. Okay. So it'll turn black or darker when you uh, water it. Oh, there is a time. It's 9 p.m. It's up in the corner. I didn't notice that. It's Sunday the 1st, 9 p.m. Okay. I have 250 gold. Um, I guess I'm gonna. Well, let's see if this actually works for refilling. Maybe I. Get yeah, it does work for refilling. Okay. I didn't really need to refill it, but I was just testing. It's getting kind of late so I'm going to go to bed go to bed okay so I woke up I watered the bed let's see how my crops are doing um, I wanted to see if I could walk over them once they started to sprout. Looks like the answer is yes. There's really not a lot to do in the game right now. Um, that's not shocking if it's pre-alpha. This total silence is really throwing me throwing me though. Nope, I want to hit it with a pickaxe. There we go, buddy. Pickaxe. I'm a little surprised at how quickly my field over over grant overgrew. Don't even have to hit it. You just have to swing in the right direction. I wonder what happens if I swing it at the crops. Will this will do bad things to the crops? No. Okay. Um. 
Did I water it today? I think I did. So, I guess I can clear out some more areas. It looks like the only place you can actually uh, farm it farming is these dark areas here. That's fair enough, I guess. I haven't noticed my energy going down at all. Let's see, escape, and then I can go up here. You have to hit escape in order to get the mouse not to be your look around key, and then you can see what your energy is. Oh, I'm a little bit out of it. I was I woke up with a huge headache and I actually stayed home from work the last two days because I've been not able to sleep. My arms been hurting. I'm just falling apart. I'm old. If you can avoid getting old, I recommend you do so. Okay. This is like Stardew, where if you uh, walk close enough to something, it will um, automatically float into your inventory. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not going to be buying a bunch of seeds. I'm just exploring, really. There's not a lot to explore, though. I'm hitting it with my axe. I think I am. Without the sound, without the feedback of the sound, it's hard to tell. Yeah, this camera wants to show the top of my head. Only half of my head. Now it's wanting to show more. Alright. Uh, pickaxe. Yeah, I'm using the right thing, but I'm not close enough. It's gotta be glowing blue for it to be working. So, um, oops, it's 10 p.m. Why is this? Maybe I can be a little higher up and I can do it a little easier. Yeah, I think this is probably a better view for working. I think those plus ones are plots that I've discovered where, I mean, I, I can farm there now, so it's giving me plus one, Annie, you can now plant stuff here. Okay. Here's my axe. The axe and my hoe look very similar. Really, I don't think there's... Well, I can build a fence, probably. Yeah, I'm having the mouse scroll uh, work is very, very nice. I, I, I very much like that in Stardew Valley, and I very much like it here, too. I've been chopping trees like crazy. Let me see if my energy's gone down. Now my energy hasn't gone down at all. I chopped down three or four trees, as I recall. So I don't think. Uh, oh nope. I don't think that um, the energy bar is functional yet. in utter and complete silence. I wonder if I can clear up near my house. 
It doesn't look like I can. Oh, I can. And I'm thinking I can't farm here. So maybe I was wrong because I got those things that said, you know, my, my, my hope. Oops. Well, I can. I wonder if I can fill that in with, I guess, I guess I, this is farmland. I was guessing I could only farm on the dark areas. Um, but that doesn't appear to be the case. I'm trying to see if there's a way to fill in the hole. Nope, I can't fill in the hole. So I, it's not just the dark areas. I can farm over here. Yeah, the, the, the aiming works a lot better if you, um, If you're not, if you're a little bit above, if you're not just at ground level. So I wonder, like I'm already seeing like my radishes. I'm trying right clicking on them to see, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to bed, so even though it's early and I don't need to, there's probably not a lot to do. I want to see my crops grow, so I'm going to accelerate time. I wonder if I can sit on the chair. I think I tried that. No. So far, the only thing in my house that is functional appears to be the bed. So... Oh, it's it's six. Oh, it's six a.m. I thought maybe I didn't sleep a whole night because I went to bed so early. Maybe you only sleep for like, and maybe it's it's set that you will sleep eight hours. Okay, let's get this. This tree just grew overnight. <laughs> wow. I want to see if I can walk on these things. So I'll go back. Turn, turn, and go forward. I can still walk on my crops, even even though they have sprouted. So I'm going to basically, I think, until they sprout, and I've, the game doesn't really tell me how long that takes, um, I'm going to just keep this area here clean. And, um, you know, I would go to sleep until something happens. There's really not enough here for me to do to, to play for a long period of time. Again, it's pre-alpha. We knew this. I'm not complaining. So, let's see what happens if I go back to bed this early. I'm getting the hang of moving around a little better. It does... It, it just feels like a, a 3D world. Okay, yeah, go to bed. Go to bed, I said. Waking up at 6 a.m. again. So it's not a certain number of hours. This is some oops, serious radishes there. I think those are radishes. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. Whatever, whatever vegetable they are, they're serious.
I don't know how to harvest these things when it comes time. I don't know how to tell if they're ready to harvest. Maybe if I left click on it. Don't left click, waters, right click. Oh, right click takes it out of the ground. Uh, I think that's actually a bead. So right click takes it out of the ground when it's ready. Okay, are these guys ready? Apparently not. Nope. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go see how much these are beets, I believe. I'm gonna go take these to Gilbert. Not, not my grandfather. Just another dude named Gilbert. So really got a really lot of space. I mean, just this is huge. I'm hoping uh, sprinklers happen at some point in the future. You're gonna spend a lot of time watering. Uh, radish seeds. These must be radishes. Those mu other things that are growing must be carrots. So, wait, I didn't check the seeds. Doesn't tell me how much he's going to sell them for. Right now, I'm at two eight nine three nineteen. So we're what, around thirty. So about ten profit. Okay. Wish I had shoes. And the way my character is clipping through his clothes, it kind of looks like his butt cheeks are hanging out. So I've got my radishes. Um, those only took three days to grow. All right, now those are back into the ground. They've all stayed watered. I'm going to go back to bed. And I guess I could be, you know, filling up, buying as many seeds as possible, getting as much money as I could. Um... I'm not really wanting to do that. Okay, so let's see. Can I right click on these? Left. Nope. Water, water. Let's see. I'm glad one of the things Stardew does that I think is kind of annoying is the water, especially water cannon when you start is so tiny you're constantly running back and forth. Now I can't do anything with these guys no matter what I click. Um, and it is kind of annoying. This, this one has a hundred charges, maybe a little less realistic, but at least I'm not running to the, to the, um, well every few seconds all right trees grow overnight that boggles my mind there's like no intermediate all right looks like those aren't ready to harvest I forget how I harvested the other ones All right, so I guess I should just water everything. Clear the field, back to bed. Ah, I can see what I'm doing.
I know. Chop down some of these magic trees. I wonder. I've chopped down a lot of trees. I wonder if they're like stacking. Yeah, I've already. I guess say so. It's 99 in a stack. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I had more than six. Maybe I'll try crafting. Let's see. Let's try crafting. Fence. So, I'll make 15 of those. So I want to put it on the outside of my farm. Just, just for decoration, I guess. Maybe it will keep the weeds out. No, I didn't. I didn't want it there. I didn't. I wonder if I can chop it down or something. No, <laughs> no. Watering, it's probably. Uh, I can. I can chop it down. Okay, so if I do put the fence in the wrong position. It's not the end of the world. So, um, it's just determined that it's going to go back there. Okay, well, let's see. guess it's not the end of the world. Where else can I put it? I have to put it there. I want to put it all around this area and see if it, yeah, well, let me put it on this green area. So I'm, I'm, I'm losing farming area where I'm putting it, but I can chop it down. Up on that fence. Okay, let's craft some more fence. Okay. Can't make a gate yet, so I gotta be careful that I don't lock myself. But apparently, I can jump off, so it's not the end of the world if I do. Tang just joined me. Hi, Tang. I hope we get to have cats in the game at some point. This is just an experiment. I'm trying to see if, if I put up a fence, if it'll maybe slow down the debris a little bit. The debris that forms is really um, quite enthusiastic okay so I'm going to see if I can um, see what happens if I put it up all along my farming area. Will it keep it? Will it keep it like? Uh, will it be like a civilized area, maybe? Uh, let's see. I'm so close to being done. Oh, I'm gonna need to. Okay, uh, I don't have the ability to make a gate, so I really don't want to do that right now. Okay, but I have, I can still run past it, and it's mostly, mostly done in, and it looks, let's take a look at my handiwork, it looks damn freaking tastic. 
As I said, I don't want to fix it so that I can't get in and out. I'm pretty sure it's just decorative and it will, the debris will come back just as much as it did before. But maybe not. We'll find out because I'm going to go to bed. Seventh of spring. Let me decide and walk over here. I don't see any trees in there. Oh, I do. I do see a tree in there. Whoops. Yeah, the fence did nothing at all as far as keeping out stuff. It didn't make it more civilized. It didn't didn't stop the these My hand is getting sore from using the controller. I mean, using the mouse so much. I'm so used to using the controller. I have to wear these braces because I um, I work in a factory. I've been doing repetitive stuff for my whole life, pretty much. Oh, that just pops out. So I just right click. The wheat's not ready yet, so left click. All right, so I'm gonna go sell this to Gilbert. As soon as I point myself in the right direction. Gilbert and his lovely daughter. We have no idea how the, who this woman is. She doesn't get a sign yet. <laughs> Hopefully she will at some point. Okay, so sell. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if it told me how much it was selling for instead of making me do math. It's like 40. Or maybe that was 30. Well, I mean, I am turning a profit. I started with 500. I sold some. I sold some um, fodder, but not very much. And that's the only money I made besides this. I don't know. I'm getting bored with this. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night on this game. Um, I think I've seen pretty much everything it's got right now. Um, there's not a lot. It's pretty. It looks like a good basis for a game. I really like the graphic style. The developer said we get to play as females eventually. Uh, there's going to be mining in the game and other places to explore but right now this island has just two NPCs and the only thing to do is farm that's it that's all and chop down your um, debris that shows up in your field I guess you could make a game if you really like farming you could just clear out your fields and go to town farming 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 but there's really not much to the game beyond that so the fact that my wrist is getting sore because I can't use my controller and I have to use the mouse is um, another drawback. So I'm, I'm ending it for tonight because of that reason. And plus there's really not a lot I haven't done so far. Anybody who watches this, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I look forward to making more of these videos because uh, I really do hope, think this game has a lot of potential. And I'm not disappointed that I bought it. So talk to you all later. Thank you very much.